I heard the story where a beggar was found dead in an abandoned house days after he had died. After searching him, a purse was found under his belt, and under it, there was lots of dollar bills in there. That man had so much money, and yet, he died poor. This is one of the dilemmas of life, that most people have everything they need, and yet, they die poor. Here's the thing, God is so gracious, and he gave each one of us talents and passions for a few major reasons, to make him happy in our using it, to impact the lives of others, and to make us fulfilled as we make money from it, and have fun doing it. There is almost no successful person you couldn't trace the use of passion or talent to. People succeed most in the area of their strengths and calling. Here's one thing about life. You don't have what you need because you aren't using what you have to get what you want. I know things can be difficult at times, but look around and you will see that you're in the very place you need to be with all the tools you need to use to live the best life you desire to have. Simple. In today's video, I will be sharing with you a few lessons on how you can turn your passion into profit. Subscribe to this channel if you're new here so you don't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Discover what your passion is. As you may have known, passion is what you love doing. It is what you never struggle to do and what you would really do for free, even if no one offers to pay. It is what brings you happiness and fulfillment each time you think of it and decide to do it. One thing you should know is you have a passion or a talent. One quote that has always driven the understanding and the certainty of this home for me is a Bible verse that says, The gift of a man makes room for him. Every man has a gift, which can also be called your talent or passion. Others may have five, some may have two, but nobody who comes into this world likes gifts, that is, the passion for something. This is why the first place to start to turn your passion into profit is to discover what your passion is. Since passion is what you enjoy doing, ask yourself what you enjoy doing. What is that thing you would readily do for free if you weren't paid? What's that thing that keeps you up at night? What's that thing that you do not struggle to sacrifice your sleep, your food and some entertainment for, just because you find it easy to do and find your most pleasure doing it? To find this out, you would need to get some time aside to be alone. Get a sheet of paper and a pen and write down all your gifts. Some are marketable, while some are not, but you do need to identify all of them. It may seem funny to love good stuff, but it could be a pointer to the fact that you could start a food company. Your passion is like a compass that shows you the way to how you should live your life. Take some time to find it. 2. Find the problem it solves for others. If you have written down all your passions, you don't necessarily have to start a business around all of them just yet. Like I said earlier, some passions are marketable, while some are not. You may need to scroll through your list to find which of your passion is marketable now and which isn't. For example, you may love IT a lot while at the same time, you love reading comic books. As much as you can focus on comic books, there is much more market for you in IT. You can start a software company or a media company. You can easily scale up such a business to success in no time, more because we are in the time when IT and all its related businesses are most needed. So, the second stage of turning your passion into profit is to find the problem it solves for others. It's okay to love to write, but what problem does it solve for others? For a long time, I also just kept writing and writing, I didn't realize I was going to make money doing it at the time, but I kept writing until years later when I started to think about how I could start to make money for myself. I had to begin to figure out ways to make money from writing. Today, there are over 20 ways you can make money by writing, and it is simply because each of those solves a problem for a group of people. You may love to do laundry, but what problem does that solve for others? You don't need your passion to solve a problem for everyone in the world. You only need it to solve problems for a group of people who will be willing to pay for it. If you love writing, you could write books for people who are too busy to write their own books. This is called ghostwriting. You can also write your own books or start a blog or find a magazine that needs writers. What problems will your passion solve for others? You may love to speak in public, but until your public speaking love finds a problem it solves for others, it is just a waste of time. 3. Test the idea. Once you have identified your passion and discovered what problem it can solve for others, you are well on your way to the next step. Test that idea. To do this, Find at least three people who have the problem you can solve with your passion. For example, if you love to do laundry, find at least three people who need help with their laundry. This is how you test if the idea or passion is worth pursuing or not. From this, you should observe the result you get. How much should you charge? How best can you structure your business so it is presentable and attractive? What mistakes did you make from trying to sell your passion to this three people? What can you learn from their response about how much to charge? how to position your business for more clients or customers, what are the things you need to correct. Also, the reason why you should immediately find at least three people who are interested in having this problem solved for them using your passion 
is so that you will know ideas to discard and ideas to continue with. If a certain idea from your passion doesn't generate quick clients or customers, you may want to put that idea aside, check through your list of passions and pick another one again to start to create a business idea around it. You don't have to use all your ideas at once. Rather, you should focus on one that hits home fast with a group of people and figure out how to keep using that to your advantage in business. If you have passion for something, whether it is sewing or selling, find that passion. Even if it is one, you certainly have a passion for something. Everybody does. Next, find the problem that passion can solve for others. Someone who loves business can start to set up businesses. Someone who loves to see people happy and healthy could become a nurse. Someone who loves peace and security in the country can join the military. Whatever it is, find out what problem your passion will solve for people. The final step is to find at least three people whom you can offer the service or market your idea to. If you can't find three people immediately, you may not have a viable market for your idea. Move on to the next passion on the list. I know this is not an exhaustive look into how to turn your passion into profit, but this is the method I have always used to start new businesses and even to run my financial life right now. Let's face it, all major financial breakthroughs often come in areas of your strengths. So find your passion, find what problem it solves for others, and find people who you can immediately sell that solution to. If this video inspired you, share it with your friends. We love you.